images formed by concave lens and convex lenses. And uh, before we discuss uh, the images formed, let's have a look at the two types of lenses. Uh, the first one is called a convex lens. So this is examples of convex lens. Uh, we can see that the side of the convex lens is thinner than uh, the center. The center here is thicker. And a convex lens sometimes is called a converging lens because it converges the light that pass through it. And uh, sometimes it's called a positive lens because it has a positive power. Okay, the second type of lens is called a concave lens. So this is the examples of concave lens and we can see that the side is thicker than the center. And uh, sometimes it's called a diverging lens because it diverged the light rays that pass through it. And uh, also it's called a negative lens because it has negative power. Okay, now before we discuss the image formed by the lens, uh, let's have a look at the essential terms that we need to know when we discuss the image formed. First of all, we will learn what is optical center and what is principal axis. Now we have two lenses here, the convex lens and the concave lens. And uh, the center of the lens, uh, okay, at this point, this is the centers of the lens. Uh, this is called the optical center. Okay, and uh, it's the same for the concave lens. Uh, this is the optical center. And um, for optical centers, all the light rays that pass through it will not be refracted. Okay, this is something that we need to know. Uh. So the point, optical center is a point at the center of a lens where no refractions will happen when light ray pass through this point. Okay. And uh, the second term that we need to know is the principal axis. Um, okay, this line is the principal axis. This is a line that passes through the optical center and it is at right angle, perpendicular, 90 degree with the lens. This is a lens and this line is 90 degree with the lens. Eh? And this axis is called the principal axis. Okay, so this axis is the principal axis as well. So principal axis is the line passes through the optical center and at right angle with the lens. Principal focus and focal length. Okay, just now we learned that this is a principal axis and for all the light ray which is parallel with the principal axis, it will be converged or refracted and focus at one point here, okay? And this is called the principal focus. Uh? This is for convex lens. And for concave lens, uh, the light ray is diverged. However, if we extend the diverged light ray, we will find that all this ray actually is come from one point, okay? All the light rays looks like it's come from one point and this is the principal focus. So what is principal focus? All light rays parallel to the principal axis converged at a point called the principal focus. Okay. So that is the point where all the light rays parallel to the principal axis converged at. The distance between the principal focus and the optical center, this optical center, this is the principal focus, the distance between these two points is called the focal length principal focus, optical center, and this is a focal length, and usually it's labeled with small letters F, eh? okay? So the focal length F is the distance between the optical center and the principal focus. Mm -hmm. Object distance and image distance. Okay, the object distance is the distance of the object from the uh, optical center, okay? and the image distance is the distance of image from the optical center. Sometimes the students will ask, how do I know where is the image? Now the image is at the point where all the light rays focused at. So you see these three light rays focus at this point and therefore this point is called the image point. And this is the locations of the image. Because in the exam, not necessarily they will give you the image. So you need to know where is the image. The image is where the light ray focused. 